hello good morning i wanted to start this reading vlog so currently it is saturday morning and it is the start to my lawn weekend and i've just finished wrapping up my um get through my e-reading tbr i'll think of a snappier title um just finished reading the book that wouldn't burn by mark lawrence so i wanted to pick up a new vlog for the long weekend maybe follow me through my work week and we can see how much reading i can get done because to be perfectly honest it would be out by the time you see this my august tbr i was thrown for a loop i've got some really big books i have to get through so what that means to me is i just have to focus on reading this month I have got to sort out some different lighting. Um, but so what I picked up was North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. I'm just one chapter into this one. I'm back in my classics era. I talked a little bit about it on my August TBR, but I really want to lean into this. So I'm going to start. Well, I started this last night and I'm currently annotating. Um, so I'm going to pick this up and I think I'm also going to pick up something to read alongside it maybe a fantasy maybe i got i have this stack right behind me of everything that was chosen it's kind of where you're sitting right now so i'm thinking i have a couple of ya's and some big classics and just big books in general I'll need to get through so I basically need to decide if I want to pick up a YA which is going to read super super fast or while I have the momentum to pick up something like Jonathan Strange. I also have to read The Will of the Mini but I think I might just do that like throughout the next couple of weeks as I like go to bed and stuff. I'm obsessed with my e-reader so I think I might just do that. So I'm not too sure the second book I'm going to pick up, but while I'm in the mood, I'm going to continue along with North and South and maybe put on like a BBC adaptation. Maybe I'll watch the BBC Pride and Prejudice. Maybe I should. I have to do some editing today, but besides that, I'm basically free this whole weekend just to read. The Buskers Festival is in town, so we'll go watch some performers as well. But really, I have a pretty open weekend. If the rain ever lets up, I think I'll go to the beach, but I normally just do a quick swim and just read there anyway. So now I'm rambling, I'm gonna go read. Okay, I am checking in because I am officially 75 pages into North and South and I've truly done nothing but walk to the store to pick up coffee, which I needed, and some fresh vegetables. And similar to what I was saying in my August TBR about a slow burn, like classical truly being a slow burn, we hit page 70 and our two protagonists Thank you, Emma. Our two protagonists have finally met. And it's so cute. He is absolutely shocked, and I wanted to read this one sentence. Mr. Thornton was in the habit of authority himself, but she seemed to assume some kind of rule over him at once. He had been getting impatient at the loss of his time on a market day. The moment she appeared, Yet now he calmly took a seat at her bidding. It's so cute. And then the next page that I had to highlight. While he looked upon her with an admiration he could not repress, she looked upon him with proud indifference. It's so cute. Just nobody does enemies to lovers like a classic novel. So I, ugh, so cute. Um, I think I'm going to take a break right now and maybe take a nap. And I also do have to get started on Chain of Thorn by Cassandra Clare. That's the book I'm going to read in tandem with North and South because, like, I wanted something different. My goodness, did I pick it. So I think now that the meet cute is done, I should switch to Cassandra Clare. But... It's so hard. I just love classics and I'm already obsessed with their dynamic. It's so cute. 
the dynamic of a woman being sassy and indifferent and the gentleman just being completely smitten with her it's just it's a recipe you just can't beat i love it okay i am back from my long weekend did i vlog it all no absolutely not and i'm also seeing now that i've turned the camera on that i probably put way too much dry shampoo in my hair but i'm checking in to say i'm basically halfway through how long is this okay i'm 200 out of 500 pages into north and south by elizabeth gaskell and i'm absolutely loving it i it took i will say i now that i have momentum i'm reading it a lot faster but it took me a little bit of time to get back into the rhythm of classical writing so I had very like staggered reading, but now I feel like it truly is once you get into the rhythm and cadence and pacing of classical literature, you absolutely fly. Basically, we're following Margaret Hale, who unfortunately her father decides that he wants a change in career and is really doubting. He was formerly a parish man and he's really doubting his place not just in the parish but in the world and he's going through some personal queries we'll call them and basically upends the family and takes them to a factory town where he becomes an educator and right away we get a sentiment from margaret that she is a lot more level-headed than those around her so the book the novel really begins with Margaret getting proposed to by a dear friend, but she keeps a very level head about it and understands that they wouldn't be the best couple together. So ultimately decides to reject the proposal before moving to this town. And in this town, she meets a cast of characters so far. Um, we've met Bessie and her father, who is one of the workers at one of the local factories. And Bessie is a friend around her age that is struggling with a lot of health issues. She was a former worker at the factory, but because she was inhaling a lot of the cotton and dust that was flying around, now deals with an illness and seems to be on a downward trajectory. And we also meet John Thornton, who is one of the owners. He is the owner of one of the factories, and we find he has really made something of himself he started with nothing and worked his way up into owning a factory and becoming a successful man and right away him and margaret are butting heads i really can't commend it enough because it does a really good job of bouncing back and forth between margaret and her domestic life and her friendships and everything going on there and her budding new f fascination and intrigue with the tensions between the workers of the mill and and the um owners so currently there is a strike happening we begin to understand that there's been multiple strikes beforehand and there has just been a rising tension between the factory workers and the owners and fair wage and compensation so we are well on our way here but i'm really enjoying it having a great time and currently i am working and i think i'm just going to stop for lunch before I jump back into it. But yeah, I had a really great weekend. I took this to the beach with me. It was a little too cold to go swimming, but we just sat, had lunch at the beach and read for a bit. So I do plan on finishing this in the next couple of days. So we will see what happens, but I'm having a really great time with it. Okay, well, I'm nearing the end of my work day and it has just been, <laughs> one heck of a Tuesday if I'm being honest. I got not the best day at work in to be honest and just really stressed, really stressful. Um, so I'm going to relax for a little bit, watch the new episode of Love Island and read some more of North and South as a form of escapism. Hmm. Well, I'm happy to announce that I'm officially halfway through North and South and I have really been enjoying it. I think I'm finally at a place where the tensions are rising between the two characters. There was an initial attraction right away. So I feel like we already had that kind of character intrigue right off the bat. You could already tell that 
at least if not attracted to there is an intensity between the dialogue of characters so i think now we're finally getting to the point where there's romance budding at least from john's perspective to margaret so i'm really enjoying it also when your life is in crisis you get bane so that's what i did um woke up at 5 a.m this morning read a little bit cut my bangs and went to work but I'm gonna keep reading now. Okay, it's a little bit humid today, so if you hear the air conditioner going off, it is just, I put it on the dehumidifier setting, so that's what it's doing. It's very loud, I'm so sorry. But I wanted to just bring a little light to this vlog because I just had a rough couple of days and yesterday my boyfriend surprised me after a hard go of it with chocolate and fantasy smut and it was just a silver lining and i just wanted to share it and also for once i'm not having regret for the banes like post breakdown what the normal cycle for me is i have hard like i go through a rough patch i get bangs like them for a little bit like for that day and then wake up the next morning and go oh no what have you done but like i had and have had bangs for so long like the same sort of like 70s kind of fringe that like this is a safe bet to do but i just wanted to say i'm doing a lot better it's fine i have smut that of course i did start right away um but yeah i will continue reading north and south but it, this is just an insert to say all is not lost i'm in a better place today and I am still reading North and South, but do not have an update yet. I wanted to hop on here to say that I just finished North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I would actually, I think this will become my go-to recommendation if you loved Pride and Prejudice. Um, I really just do think that it has the sort of same dynamics of like the initial, like enemies to lover for sure, but just like how john thornton comes across is not necessarily great it's a bit headstrong and then it has the whole man falls first and margaret kind of slowly comes around once she understands his character a little bit better then she comes around into liking him and it all kind of comes together right at the end and i just really really enjoyed it this felt a lot more modern i'm not sure when it was written but it felt more modern than pride and prejudice for sure and there were some real heart-wrenching moments as well. Like there is a couple of characters' deaths that happen and going through the grief, I think Gaskell did such a good job with it. Um, So now I'm going to watch, I think, the BBC adaptation and hop into something else. But that's going to be all for today's vlog. I really, really appreciate you taking this journey with me back into classics. I'm so glad I picked this up. And it was just a really great pretty quick read too actually for the time I dedicated to it I think I read it in maybe six or seven sittings so yeah I would definitely recommend I had such a good time thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video